In Turkey lives the most remarkable painter, Esref Armagan, an artist born without eyes. No one can call me blind. I can see more with my fingers than sighted people can see with their eyes. Esref proves that you don't need eyes to see. What's astounding about Ezra's paintings is his use of color, shadow, and composition. And most importantly, perspective. The way he draws objects receding into the distance. It is not meant to be possible to paint such recognizable and well-composed images without eyes. At Harvard Medical School's Neurology Center, scientists are mystified by Ezra's abilities. They want to scan his brain in order to find out how he does it. Ashraf is doing something that we thought was locked in the visual brain and was only possible if you had visual input. And it's the way Ashraf grapples with three-dimensional space that has the scientists particularly excited. Their experiment will involve putting Ashraf in an MRI scanner, asking him to draw and observing the activity in his brain. Ezraf must remain as still as possible so they can get a clear image of his brain. As he draws a picture, the scientists are riveted by what they see on the monitors. Regions of his brain that shouldn't have any activity due to his blindness react in an extraordinary way. The visual parts of the brain, the ones that for normal sighted people light up like Christmas trees when we're looking at things, those became alive and excited and incredibly dynamic whenever Eshref was thinking of drawing in perspective. What Eshref's MRI results reveal is something groundbreaking. Eshref's brain shows us that vision involves more than just the information brought in through our eyes. Vision, it turns out, also involves our ability to understand space. <laughs> Bravo! What Ashraf is showing us is that we misunderstood vision. So we thought pictures are creatures of vision because they're dealing with distance and direction and angle. And now we realize all of those things are available to touch as well. And so we can have tactile pictures as well as visual pictures.